Okay, really quick, before we start, I got you guys something. Since we're here to test out this black hair dye that we just swatched that I'm gonna be using in my Halloween hair, and because tomorrow's October 1st, I got you this. <laughs> it lights up all different colors. It's batteries. It was only $12 on Amazon. And you can just hang it instead of having to deal with a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> If you have any ideas where you'd like this little guy to go, let me know. I'll get him set up for our next video. Today we're just going to kind of go back a second where we swatch these awesome lunar tides. These were really beautiful, really fun. It was the moon pack. I'll link that video below in case you want to check it out. In that video in the comments, we were talking about how we're curious how their semi-permanent black would lift out. Now this one had green underneath. If you want to check out the video, go ahead. I got a link below. But this one did have a little bit of green underneath. I purposely wanted to see how it would go over other colors in the hair. And then this was just over blonde down here. So, so we're going to just see how that bleaches out or lifts out before I use it on my hair for my Halloween hair. I'm going to be doing my Halloween hair pretty soon. We're going to be fading out my Cheshire Cat hair here. I'll link that video below too in case you want to check that out. We got so much stuff for us to do. So basically in the comments, we wanted to, everyone wanted to kind of see how this lifted out. Also, this was our slate gray from that video and it came out really stunning on our platinum. And this was like a really light white platinum blonde. I know there was another comment about testing that specific color out on like a more natural blonde. So I actually have my two most natural blondes I could find. I feel like this one's just a little bit more yellow and this one's just a little bit more orangey brassy. I think you can see the difference pretty well. So I thought while we're bleaching that out, we'll come and we'll throw this slate gray on there for you and see how that comes out and compare that to that platinum. And then we're just gonna straight up see how this lifts out uh, all together. So today is all about the slate gray and their Eclipse Black. I was gonna do all of our brand new neon UV black light colors that I just got. Like every color of the rainbow plus an extra one, like basically their entire collection. I was gonna do that today, but I figure I really wanted to come back to this and get this done for us. I just couldn't move on without doing this. Just in case this is your first time here, we just did holographic prism hair. I'm extremely proud of it. And so I just wanted to bring our lovely model back on here to just kind of, I don't know, say hello because I've been absolutely obsessed with this. That's, that's why the wig is still on my mannequin head because it's just so fun to look at. I can't get over it. I was really obsessed with kind of how it looked like clipped up in the front. So yeah, so if you want to check that video out, I'll link that one out too. This was my first big project on this channel. Honestly, the biggest hair transformation I've ever done in my life. So it was really exciting. I really hope you check it out. I'm really proud. So far, everyone that's seen it, it seems to have made them happy because, you know, hair color therapy, it's my favorite. I'm gonna go with my favorite bleach, of course, Blondie from Schwarzkopf. I am ordering the new formula, so don't worry. So today we're gonna use my old Nine Lift bleach powder. Well, not old, but not the new formula. And I think I'm gonna do... Jeez, I was really torn. I think we're just gonna see how it lightens out with... We're gonna do seven and 20 volume today. How about that? One on the top of the swatch and one on the bottom, just out of curiosity. Why not? <laughs> I will see you guys down here. Let's get to swatching. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you're having an amazing day. I know I've been fighting through some battles, but just give it time. Uh, I got this sticker too. It's called, it says hair life. And I was just kind of wondering if we should maybe put it here or something or anywhere. I just feel like it's just missing just just a little something. But all right, so let's get down here. Let's get to swatching. So guess what? I only have one glove. So if you're out there, wear gloves. Um, I just don't have any. So we're going to have to wing it. That's life. Well, there's already a seven on this one, so we're good to go there. So I like to do my bleach 1 to 1 1.5, and I don't have a lot left. So so there's my, there's my one part bleach our lovely shorts cuff blonde me nine lift bleach powder the one to 1.5 so now this is this is one one because i used one bleach one of these for bleach and then i filled it again for one part developers so that's one one right now i just like to add in another half of one of those those are developers seven and twenty i like to start low because you can always add more you know well i guess either way you could add more bleach too but i always feel like the 20 developer is a little bit more liquidy than the 7. 
All right, so we're gonna start bleaching first because that's gonna take longer to process. And we're gonna go, I mixed way too much bleach for this little bit of hair. All right, so I'm gonna do the seven volume on the bottom over the blonde. I like to use my brushes that have been stained really bad when I bleach because it makes them white again. All right, here's our 20 volume. And I don't mind if there's a gap in between the two. It's not like this is on our hair and we're trying to make it even or anything. So don't mind that. It's about time to bleach my hair. So this will just kind of get me in the spirits for that. All right. Put that the sevens on the bottom. So I remember we're going to go there. I feel like I'm wasting bleach now. I shouldn't have mixed. I should have only done like a little less. Than that. That's okay. On our natural blondes. So this one is the more, put a Y for yellow blonde. Let's put an O. And then this is the color that we're going to be putting over those. Like I said, this one was on a white platinum. All right, slate gray. It's really, really pretty. See, to me, it looks like it's purple based, but maybe it's just, So these only need to go about 20, 30 minutes. So we'll check on the bleach every few minutes and I'll probably just rinse this all together. Sorry, I put my hair up, it was hot. I'm gonna have to save my glove for rinsing everything out. Ew, times are rough. All right, so I'm gonna let everything process and I will see you back here. I, and I am gonna check on the bleach pretty often just to see how that's kind of lifting. So I'll, I'll keep you informed on that been about 43 minutes. Here's our lovely swatches. They definitely look like they took on maybe two different colors. So these are actually ready to rinse out. Go ahead and do that and leave the bleach in just a little bit longer for its full time. I just checked it and I think you guys are going to be just as surprised as me. So man, this is not what I was expecting this to look like at all, to be honest with you. Um, so this was semi-permanent black hair dye from Lunar Tides. And it's got like this reddish orange. And normally my 20 volume developer with this bleach takes color just right out. The top had some underlying neon green from Lunar Tides. And I'm just seeing all this orangish red. And the bottom was, was seven volume. The top was 20 and neither of them are lifting out. So I'm gonna leave them in a little longer, but it looks like we're gonna be stuck with a red orange. I don't know, or maybe just a red. <laughs> Obviously, I know when you bleach out any kind of black hair dye or anything, there's levels of color you have to go through to lift through the blonde. And I've actually never used a semi-permanent black. This is my first semi-permanent black. I've always been more permanents and things like that, especially on this channel. I'm always doing neon, neon, neon. So this was a real fun and interesting color to swatch. And I am going to still use it on my own hair. I just really wanted to see how much trouble I'm going to have getting it out of my hair for our, you know, hair transformation after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these out and then I will rinse the bleach out. Because by then the bleach will have been in for probably like 55 minutes. And at that point, if I were trying to get to blonde, I'd probably just do another application because you get the most levels of lift in the first 30 minutes anyways. Um, so that's probably what I would do. But I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all this out and I'll see you guys in just a second. So I honestly can't wait to see these results. I'm a little surprised. Okay, so I've been watching Griselda on Netflix, and uh, it's pretty rough. So if you watch it, just warning, it's pretty intense. Uh, I swear to God, I've just been like <laughs> going like that for the last 24 hours. It's insane. So yeah, just, just in case. In case you guys are... And the fly is back. Just in case you're wondering what I'm up to. Probably weren't, but you know. We're hanging out. Figured I'd share that with you. Okay, these results are crazy. <laughs> Let's start with the slate gray. This is it on our more orangey swatch. And it came out just a really pretty like darker gray. I'm gonna show these all to you in the natural light at the end of the video as well. Yeah, so this is just like a really pretty like dark, darker gray. And this is that compared to the original. So it's quite, it's a, it's a really big difference from using this on the platinum here versus using it on like the more orangey blonde. This is our more yellow blonde that we had. 
So again, it came out really dark. So here's the more yellow one next to the or platinum one here. So this was the platinum and this is the more yellow hair. So insane difference. It doesn't even look like the same hair color to me, to be honest. And here's them all just side by side. So we got our more orangey one all the way on the outside, our more yellow blonde in the middle, and then our platinum one with the slate gray on the end. I'm neuropathy. Sorry, this is hard for me to hold all these. To me, there's quite a big difference still in the yellow and the orange one here. This one's definitely got more of like a silver to it, and this one's going just more of a whole kind of darker gray. So kind of cool, I think. I'm really glad that you wanted to see this because for me, this was really interesting. I love seeing how it affected all three different kinds of blondes so differently. Yeah, so I'm really happy about that. So, all right, now the moment I've been waiting for, <laughs> here's the bleach. So sad to say, I think this is this hair swatch's last day. All right, so here we are. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Like what on earth? I mean, we knew there'd be a black strip in the middle. And to be honest, I'm not mad with this color combo right now. Sorry, it's like insanely hot. It's supposed to be October in a minute. Yeah, look at that. So the top is where we did the 20 volume. And I will say it is uh, a little bit lighter than the bottom. And I've done videos where I compare the 7 and the 20 volume. I'll actually link that below just in case you're curious. Um, So I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter, but not like a crazy difference. Our 7 volume works pretty good. And then there's that strip in the middle. Gosh, just fly. Oh, and you can see it's just got like this almost corally pink red going down and you can see it a lot more i feel like in the bottom here and here's what it would look like up on here so i'm honestly not mad at it but i'm just surprised because almost every lunar tides i've ever used has come out so easily knowing this depending on how you lift your hair or what you're doing uh, there was no underlying pigments this this was all just the hair color on blonde hair this was good to know because you might want to maybe go with a certain kind of color remover instead you don't want to be damaging your hair and like we just did to this i mean this poor thing i mean it's great bleach but i've bleached this obviously before and you can tell at the bottom even with the seven volume it's just not happy and so it's good to know that it's got like this underlying like reddish pink no matter how long I left that bleach in for. Because then on myself, I'll probably think more of using a certain kind of color remover. This was shocking to me, but I think it's something that I can deal with with what I'm going to be using. Putting the black for my Halloween hair and then the plan I have after that for the hair I have after my Halloween hair. This should work just fine for me. So I'm going to show these all to you in the natural light. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. And if you are still hanging out, I hope you subscribe so you don't, so you don't miss any more videos. So many more exciting things happening coming up and I'm just super pumped. We're here. It's October and I have just been dreaming about my Halloween hair. Sorry, Cheshire cat hair. We loved you. And sorry, Halo Neon Prism wig. We loved you. Also, I already ordered another wig, everybody. So we're going to be doing my hair and another wig and so many things. So if there's anything else you want to see, make sure you comment below. This was a fun one. I enjoyed this. So thank you so much for putting those comments out there, which led us to this today. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Hope to see you in the next video. Much love, everyone. All right, so here we go. We got them up here. It's what I get for buying Andy Scent double-sided tape. The orange hair, and this is the yellow hair with that symbol on it. Have a beautiful day.